meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Back out here on West Franklin, I am with the booth I hit first. Every single year, it is the Outboard Boating Club booth. What booth number is that, that again? 114. And your name? Jane Shank. Jane, and I would bet this young man's name is Scott. It is Scott. Okay, now Scott, you and Jane have been working this booth for many years, and you're holding in your hands what? A pulled pork parfait from Hog and Sauce Barbecue. Ooh, it looks delicious. I know I've already had one. Okay, Jane, what's it consist of? Well, this is the loaded one. It has um, baked beans, corn, barbecue pork, cheese, and sauce on top. And real mashed potatoes. And real mashed potatoes also. Now, would you recommend eating this very quickly, like in less than a minute? Oh, if you can do it in less than a minute, then... Hands off, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. This is a meal in a cup, right? So, wait a minute. Will they get on the hall of fame and not the hall of shame at hog and sauce there you go there you uh, go yep. okay let's go ahead and give them their pork parfaits let's go ahead and introduce our contestants here and i'll get the little weather in before the competition all right what's your name kate all right kate now what booth do you work at delta zeta sorority you are proud of that <laughs> uh, as you should be now what is your big ticket item there at delta zeta for, um, as always, we have our award-winning fried pickles. The fried pickles, <laughs> which is Jake Boswell, our morning news anchor. That's his favorite thing. That's the first place he always goes. What else do you have at the booth? Um, this year we have a new dessert. They're actually, it's from the Be Happy Pie Company. They're called Monster Cookie Pies and then Oatmeal Cookie Pies. Oh. They're really good. They're really, you've already sampled some, right? Oh, of course. I've had way too many already. <laughs> <laughs> good for you. All right, next to you is your eating a, a opponent, I guess. Hey, what's your name? My name is Austin Blacklock. All right, now, Austin, you work at the world-famous Stromboli booth. What is it? The uh, Tall Kappa Epsilon fraternity booth. Yeah, and how long have you been working that booth? Uh, I just got down here today, but I worked it uh, all year last year, basically every day. Okay, and how did you get nominated to be the guy to get into this eating contest? Uh, you came in there and asked who would be down <laughs> to do an eating contest, and all the guys uh, looked at me. Uh, they all looked at you. Why would they look at you instinctively? Uh, I guess because I'm the only one that would, like, be down to do it. All right, down to do it. All right, we're going to get to some weather here real fast, but then we'll get to that eating contest. Really quickly, let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on in downtown Owensboro as we look away from Evansville for a few minutes. We've got some high clouds overhead right now, but the sky's cleared out pretty well. It was a, a rainy start to the day, but things are drying out here. Owensboro all across the tri-state. I'm happy to report that. Current temperature 67 degrees at the airport. Now, we're going to have a north wind at around 5 to 10 miles an hour, so a bit of a breeze. We're filling out a light wind out here on West Franklin. That's okay. And we've got, of course, nothing like the conditions we had last year uh, at the Fall Festival. Temperatures across the tri-state right now in the 60s, and we're going to be seeing up around 70 for a high. And, of course, uh, uh, later on today, too, we are going to be seeing more and more sunshine. So even though you might have a few clouds out there right now, especially down to the southeast, that'll be out of the way soon enough. Nothing showing up on radar now in the tri-state after a rainy start to the day. A little over a tenth of an inch at the airport in the past 24 hours. And as far as future tracker is concerned, we are going to see plenty of sunshine really over the next really over the next several days. That's good news. I'm not expecting any rain until Friday. Uh, high today again, 70 degrees. North wind at 5 to 10. Enjoy this pleasant, low-humidity day. It feels like a fall festival for a change. The past couple of festivals have felt like a summer festival. And then over the next seven days, it's really going to get chilly after we warm up into the 80s on Thursday and Friday with a chance of rain Friday. It'll be in the 60s for highs by parade time. And overnight low, Saturday night into Sunday, 39 degrees. Are you kidding me, Kate? Oh, my goodness. Are you ready, ready for that? Ready That'll for warm you. All right, you're ready for fall. You're going to get for you're fall. fall and winter. All right, on your mark. Get okay. set. Go! It's Kate versus Austin. It is Delta Zeta against Ty the Teeks. We'll just call him the Teeks. Look at him go. Austin's getting off to a fast. Man, Kate is impressing me with her ability. She dug deep to get that corn. She wants to get the corn out of the way first. Got pulled pork in there, too. She's avoiding the pulled pork. What is going on here? Austin is just, he doesn't care. Man, he's got his hat down. He is in zone mode right here. Eat that pork parfait as fast as possible. And please eat it a little bit faster. Scott, you know the Heimlich, right? Absolutely. Scott knows the Heimlich. So do I. I think we're going to be okay if you guys might have a little trouble digesting that as we go. Come on, Kate. You were off to such a fast start. Now you're slowing down. Look at them. Give me the wrap already. Austin, he's, look at that. He is determined. Man. Look at the look on his face. If we can see the look on his face. All right. Okay. I think we're going to. No, keep on going. Keep on going. We'll announce the winner of the competition coming up at the end of Lifestyle. And I think I know who's going to do it. That is pitiful. That is 
Sad. Look at Austin's already halfway down. I think we got ourselves a champion in the making over there. Anyway, the Pulled Pork Parfait Outdoor Boating Club. You guys are in Alphabet Alley. And, of course, booth number 114. 114. All right. Angie, back to you. Uh, well, after this, from Lifestyles, we'll have more coming up in a couple of minutes.